St. Vincent is a beautiful country. St. Vincent is a gem. Um, and we are very proud and very protective of that. Um, one of the things that stood out for me during the volcanic eruption was that our neighbors, neighboring countries, offered shelter. They said, we could send, and you can send persons, they could shelter by us. And um, we went about then calling persons up, persons who were displaced, persons who were affected. Um, St. Lucia is offering, this other country is offering, um, would you want to go? And we spent days doing that. And for the most part, the only person who were interested in leaving were the non-nationals. Um, that stood out for me. That stood out for me as a stand of not just our resilience, but we recognized that it, it needed all hands on deck. Um, and that happened without even asking. Uh, the private sector kicked in. I mean, all of that was, is already under the national response mechanism. But you didn't have to ask. You didn't have to ask the private bakeries to make extra bread for the shelters. Um, persons would help their neighbors. Persons would um, readily give food. It was happening to see um, that collaboration and that community spirit. Some in, um, in peacetime we think, and we speak a lot about losing that community spirit, but it was quite evident um, during the volcanic eruption. Um, me personally, um, I don't know if I have had anyone ask me that question yet. I think this is the first time somebody has asked me about me and how I managed and how um, things were for me. Um, the sacrifices you make as a healthcare, as a healthcare provider, I'm sure this is not exclusive to me, but the, sac the personal sacrifices you make as a healthcare provider to be there 24 seven for everybody else forgetting about your family, forgetting about your home and your things that affect your life, um, that has impacted significantly. Um, I didn't even realize that I would have been so emotional about this. At, at this time, this is almost two years later, right? <laughs> but um, I salute the healthcare providers, I salute um, the persons in health, it takes a special breed to be in health and to be so dedicated. We have gone through so much in such a short space of time and we have come out stronger for it.